man who took part in a high profile killing is about to get out of prison after just 10 years of his 42 year sentence. There would have been three murders that day had two of his victims not been so strong. As you can imagine, the victims are not happy. In 2006, Benito Lopez was 16 years old when he and his cousin Michael Swick beat and stabbed 61 year old Rita and 68 year old Carlos Atencio nearly to death in their Cuba home. It was a home invasion robbery plot. The couple injured so badly, even they were shocked they survived. The scars on my body are testimony to the trauma that I went through. A knife wound on my back, the bruises on my left breast, the upper right arms. Investigators say the pair then beat their friend, 18-year-old Alex Ogle, to death when he refused to take part in the crime. He was frozen to the ground. Stabbed over 17 times. His head was bashed in with the rock. Lopez eventually pleaded guilty to robbing and beating the Atencios and testified against Swick, getting his murder charge dropped and getting leniency in the 42 year sentence he faced. Uh, I saw the evidence and the extreme violence, but it's also clear that the, the prosecution of this case would have been difficult without. Them. And for those reasons, I'm going to suspend all but 15 years. Now, after serving nearly 11 years earning good time, Lopez has been granted parole. Alex Ogle's family is outraged. He gets a whole new life. My brother's still in the ground. I just think everybody needs to know that there's a murderer that's going to be out on the loose who had no remorse for anything he did. Swick is serving 62 years for the same crime. The family takes some comfort in that, but feels the system is broken. They're giving people that have done way less crimes more time than they are to murderers in the state of New Mexico, and this is ridiculous. Something needs to be done about the justice, justice system when it comes to murderers. The Corrections Department expects to release Lopez in early February. He will be on supervised probation for five years. If he violates parole or probation, he could be sent back to prison to serve the rest of his 42-year sentence.